I am beginning to feel almost sorry for the left in this Amy Coney Barrett situation. They just don't know what to do. Despite their customary resourcefulness, they don't have a good line of attack. This woman is just too nice, too clean cut, um, too much of a, uh, an absolutely impeccable background, so they're fumbling. Well, one of their latest angles of critique this is promoted by this guy named Ibrahim Kendi. He's the author of How to Be an Anti-Racist. And he's sort of the liberal cool cat of the moment. Uh, Oprah has celebrated him and others uh, for being the sort of leading voice, or one of the leading voices on the race issue. And here's what Kendi says in a recent tweet. Let's read it carefully. Now, what is this all about? Kendi seems to imply that in colonial times it was normal for colonialists to somehow appropriate these children of color, black and brown children, quote, civilize them uh, and thus deprive them of their culture and cut their umbilical cord uh, to their own history and their own parents. First of all, was this even true in colonial times? Let's take the example of British rule in India. How many British couples adopted a brown Indian child, then civilized that child in British ways and manners? The answer is, as far as I know, none. There might have been one or two. This was not a normal pattern in colonial days. So Kendi doesn't even know what he's talking about. Um, but um, let's say he's right. What does this have to do with Amy Coney Barrett? Did Amy Coney Barrett put on a safari suit and go down to, on some colonial expedition to Haiti, run a raid on the natives, capture some black children, steal them from their parents, and yank them to South Bend, Indiana? Really? This is madness. Uh, Haiti has had a very tragic history, and in recent years it has suffered one calamity after another. Earthquakes, famines, the Clintons, Yes, uh, one thing worse than the other. And um, so this has produced orphans, it has produced parents who have had to abandon their children, uh, and then um, kind families adopt them, give them a better life. So here these kids are now with a loving family, and instead of celebrating this, celebrating this adoption, the party of abortion is now actually attacking adoption. How crazy is that? The deeper malady is, uh, and Kendi is, is a sort of classic uh, exhibitor of these symptoms, it's race thinking. Frederick Douglass said, let the sun be proud of its achievement. Race thinking is a kind of disease. It used to be kind of a white disease, white race thinking. Everything is seen through the lens of whiteness. And the Democratic Party, by the way, patented this. They promoted it. This was their basis for holding, uh, this was the glue that held the South together after the Civil War. But now it's black race thinking. So notice that the Democrats have changed. They've gone from white race thinking to black race thinking, but there's a deeper consistency. It's race thinking all the same. Until we recognize that race is the painted face, until we recognize the fallacy of thinking in racial terms at all, America will never get beyond the end of racism. Let's hope a Amy Coney Barrett on the court will help us get there.